A suspect is on the run after robbing a Main Street Frisco bank. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News. A man robbed Credit Union of the Rockies on Main Street Frisco yesterday, less than two weeks after allegedly robbing a bank in downtown Fraser. Police are searching for a suspect in his 50s or 60s, measuring 6 foot 4, weighing about 220 pounds. Police believe he is driving a dark gray, newer model F-150. Contact Frisco PD with info, 970-668-3579. If you had trouble sleeping last night, you're not alone. Gusty winds started around 9 or 10 p.m., hitting hurricane force in Breckenridge at 2, when peak 6 recorded gusts up to 116 miles per hour. A Basin, Copper, and Loveland Pass all saw winds over 75. In town, it was gusting between 40 and 60 in the wee hours. It is still gusty today, putting chairlifts at Breckenridge and other ski areas on wind hold. The U.S. was pummeled by a record-setting $22 billion disasters last year. Colorado and California wildfires topped that list, scorching 10.3 million acres, 51% more than the 10-year average in the West. Three tornado cycles, seven tropical cyclones, and 10 severe weather events killed 262 people combined, causing $95 billion in damage. Local towns are wrestling with cannabis lounges for on-site consumption, and Breckenridge Town Council wants voters to take the lead. Town Council wants a citizen proposal for a lounge on Airport Road. It needs 650 signatures to make the ballot, and Councilwoman Carol Sade predicts conflict. We're going to have to include tobacco into that conversation, and um, right now we don't allow cigar lounges. There is no petition yet in Breck. In September, town of Dillon became one of the first in the state to approve lounges by a 5-2 council vote. Red Rocks yesterday released the 2021 concert schedule with 80 shows starting April 15th. And closer to home, town of Dillon is beginning to plan for summer events. Crowd size at Dillon Amphitheater will likely be capped at 500 people if shows are allowed. And there is one show already on the books, Ween, June 25th and 26th, rescheduled from last summer. By 2.30 today, Summit County hopes to vaccinate 500 locals against COVID-19, nearly double the single-day record from last week. It's the debut of the Megapod, and same-day appointments are now available. Get yours at summitcountyco.gov for a COVID vaccine today by 2 p.m. The latest now on coronavirus and tracking the holiday surge. Caseload is rising in Summit and resort towns statewide. Summit Health Director Amy Wineland. It's still hard to, to know uh, whether this is going to be only related to the holiday. We know from contact tracing that gatherings have increased. It's the same issue in the Aspen area, home to Colorado's highest infection rate, where DJs, caterers, and rentals were booked solid through Christmas and New Year's. Summit's latest infection rate is 694 per 100,000 people, lower than Vail and Steamboat, higher than Crested Butte and Telluride. All are over 500. In sports, the Avalanche lost the season opener to the Blues last night 4-1. to Tonight, the Nuggets play the Warriors at 8 on TNT. And in local sports, brought to you by American Family Insurance, the Weiss Agency, the Gold Run Fat Bike Town Series returns in two weekends, January 23rd at Gold Run Nordic in Breck. Sign up through Mavsports.com. Phil Lindemann, Crystal, 93 News.